Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. A devotional by Ellen White. November 1st, the captivity of Satan and his angels. Then the prince of evil spirits, great deceiver of the world, he who at the blessed Jesus once his deadly weapons hurled, cometh with unwanted power, knowing that his reign will cease. When the kingdom shall be given to the mighty Prince of Peace. The Captivity of Satan and His Angels The angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Jude Verse 6. The earth looked like a desolate wilderness. Cities and villages shaken down by the earthquake lay in heaps. Mountains had been moved out of their places, leaving large caverns. Ragged rocks thrown out by the sea or torn out of the earth itself were scattered all over its surface. Large trees had been uprooted and were strewn over the land. Here is to be the home of Satan with his evil angels for a thousand years. Here he will be confined to wander up and down over the broken surface of the earth and see the effects of his rebellion against God's law. For a thousand years he can enjoy the fruit of of the curse which he has caused. Limited alone to the earth, he will not have the privilege of ranging to other planets to tempt and annoy those who have not fallen. During this time, Satan suffers extremely. Since his fall, his evil traits have been in constant exercise, but he is then to be deprived of his power and left to reflect upon the part which he has acted since his fall and to look forward with trembling and terror to the dreadful future when he must suffer for all the evil that he has done and be punished for all the sins that he has caused to be committed. I heard shouts of triumph from the angels and from the redeemed saints, which sounded like 10,000 musical instruments because they were to be no more annoyed and tempted by Satan. And because the inhabitants of other worlds were delivered from his presence and his temptations. To God's people, the captivity of Satan will bring gladness and rejoicing. Says the prophet, it shall come to pass in the day that Jehovah shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy trouble and from the hard service wherein thou wast made to serve, that thou shalt take up this parable against the king of Babylon, here representing Satan, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? Jehovah hath broken the staff of the wicked the scepter of the rulers that smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke that ruled the nations in anger with a persecution that none restrained. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.